Hello, the Mighty Mums. Today's, oh, that is not ideal. Today's daily revelation number 98 over this loud noise is foul forward. So I want to talk about, I feel like a lot of times why people don't start things or why people don't finish things or uh, what stops people from continuing in things is uh, other people's opinions, other people's opinions and how they are supposed to be perceived in front of their friends, family or whatever. And I feel like it stops people from being who they truly want to be. And that starts at a very small level. They stop doing things because someone said this. Uh, they stop doing things because, uh, you know, they weren't perfect in what they did. So, to be honest, I struggle with this a lot. And I'm not going to say I, you know, fully have gone over it. But definitely gone a lot better at it is not caring what other people think. And you would have seen that I post a lot on my personal page, obviously in this page, and then our, our business page is not only to get content and help people, but to not care about other people's opinions, to not care about other what other people think of me, and to bring on the critics. And sometimes I do things knowing that people will say things and won't necessarily be happy with it, so that I get used to it. I get I build that muscle just like doing a bicep curl in the gym. I build that muscle mentally that I can deal with critics and haters and, and trolls or whatever you call it online. So I purposely put myself out there everywhere and places where everyone can see me family friends whatever you would have recently seen that I have started to sell prams and to be honest sometimes I do things because I know they're gonna fail but I want to know what are the critics gonna say and what I'm gonna learn from it so sometimes I intentionally put things out there and not when they're perfect when things need a lot of work but I know that when I hit that wall or hit that failure that's gonna teach me something it's gonna teach me yet the market doesn't like that so therefore I need to change it here where a lot of people wait for the perfect time to put themselves out there, the perfect time to say something, and as we know, that perfect time never comes. So I like to take a lot of imperfect action and then learn along the way. But I expect that I'm going to fail. I expect that I'm going to hit critics. I expect that it's not perfect. And when I have that expectation that it's not perfect, I, I bring on the critics. I bring on the failure. But a lot of people go into something and they go, no, I'm not going to fail ever. And when they do, it's... It's not in the, within their expectations and therefore they give up or they stop or they stop being consistent. And something that has really been embedded in me because of a lot of practice and a lot of hard times is just to do things, have a crack. Because living that life so timid and so scared is failure in itself. I would rather give credit to the person that you know put themselves out there, they had a crack but they failed, rather than someone that lives so timid and ultimately, they wanted to do whatever they wanted to do to truly be fulfilled, but they were thinking about what other people would think about them, blah, 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 blah. And that's living a really, really small life. And I know it's more easier than just, you know, flicking the switch. I know it comes from within and it, it constantly takes a bit of work, but I can speak wholeheartedly. This is where I was and this is what I continue to work on because it's what stops people 95% of the time is the opinions of others, the opinions of uh, what other people tell them they do. And these are the people that are not necessarily where you want to be. So always think about who you take advice from. I'm not saying don't be a, a jerk and don't listen to people and say, you know, my coach Aaron said not to listen to you because you're not where I want to be. It's listening to but what you actually action from what people say is very different. So I listen to everyone. But I look at where this person, when they're giving me advice, I look at are they where I want to be and are they living the life that I truly want to live? If they're not, then I listen to them, but I won't do what they told me to do because they're not ultimately living where I want to live. And that's how you can overcome opinions of other people. Where you say, well, have you had a crack like how I've had a crack? Well, no. Well, they're therefore, uh, you know, you have, you're entitled to your opinion, but what you're saying is not credible because you haven't felt how I felt when I put myself out there when I had to deal with critics. And this is my encouragement to you. If something's holding you back because of someone else's opinion, I encourage you to fail forward, to do the reps, to do what you know you ultimately want to do, but have that expectation, I'm going to fail, I'm going to get critics. But if you're living so timidly, like, oh, I hope that person doesn't say, please don't say that, and all of a sudden they do, it starts to get you down. But I expect the critics, I expect them, I expect things to stuff up. But I know along the way that I can manage it, and then therefore learn, get the feedback from it, and make it better. 
But what a lot of people do is they hit that feedback and they go, no, nah, it's not for me. I knew that person was going to say that. I knew this would have failed. I expect the failure, but then I know that I'm going to learn and then keep going and keep doing the reps. Someone who wants to do a 100 kilo squat, you don't just work all the way to 100 kilos. You start at 10 kilos. Then you go to 20 kilos. You fell at 20. Okay, you go back to 15. You do 15 kilos. Eventually, you get good at 15. You do 20 again and you get it done. And this is how you fail forward. You continually do the reps. And this is the life I personally want to live, but I want this movement to live by in all areas of the life, not just in your health and fitness, your career, your finances, relationships, whatever it is, that we fail forward, that we don't give up. And as cliche as it is, it's all about doing the reps and turning up every single day, turning up whether you feel like it or not, failing forward. But it's all about managing your expectations. Like I said, expect to fail. Change your mindset from... I don't want to fail to I'm going to expect that I'm going to fail at some stage. Great. And then I'm going to get feedback from it. I'm going to expect that I'm going to get that critic, that person's opinion. But understand that it's all part of the journey. And that's why 95% of people don't really live a truly fulfilled life is because of other people's opinions, fear of failure, all these things that are holding them back. But ultimately, it's these things that we need to go through in order to grow, in order to become better, in order to be a proper role model for our kids. Think about your kid came to you, hey, mom, I want to do that, but I'm scared of what that person thinks. What would you say to them? You'd probably say, oh, let's, uh, let's worry what they think and don't do that. You wouldn't say that. You'd say, hey, look, this is common in life. This is going to happen, but this is how I overcame it. And when you talk from a place of credibility rather than a place of, oh, I wish I could do that, it's a lot more powerful and you become a leader uh, in your family, you become a leader amongst your friends because you're talking from a place of integrity where you've actually lived that, you've been through that, and now you can inspire other people and empower other people. And that's the greatest need that you want to live at is contribution. But first, you need to do the reps. Do the reps every single day, ladies. I hope that helped. Comment below if you can relate to this. Fail forward.